this is the kind of lifestyle they have. Um, they have the option to cook in their units, but they also have a shared canteen, shared services. Uh, yes, of, of course, okay. as, uh, we are going to deliver it to that, uh, such kind of the food. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, of course, as you know, until that uh, assisted living, of mm -hmm. they have to survive, they have to do themselves. Of course, that's So course, that's why so yeah. we have uh -huh. such kind of that, the kitchen unit yes. also we have, uh -huh. and also uh -huh. single detached house also yeah. we have. Okay. So uh -huh. What do you call your plan for single? Is that the prince plan? Uh, no. Prince house. A prince house. Yes. See, um, the facility of, oh, whose helicopter is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the facility of Rose uh, Garden includes your being able to have a house yes. and not just a room if yes. you can afford the plan right yes. and um what other activities do your residents have yeah for example what they can do what they can can they do inside a, um, a rose garden also just uh, you saw that some of that uh, persons our clients that's is is that dr lilia, oh, dr. lilia yeah, yes, yes. Uh, she's kapangpangan by the way yes. and she chose to devote her life in kabuya laguna taking care of the uh, 80 plus residents that yes. mr munitomo has today yes mm -hmm. so that uh, activity is uh, for example gardening but gardening gardening uh, okay. but the gardening but a little bit uh, big spaces looks like a farming uh -huh. and uh, also some other uh, of course swimming pool and also mm -hmm. some PT rehabilitation such a uh, okay. the time uh -huh. and uh, what about karate during your 10th uh, year anniversary i remember you had a karate group uh, yes we have a uh -huh. we, we call dojo dojo is a karate training center can I train there too? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, <laughs> and I'll be become like Bruce Lee? <laughs> uh, I hope so, yes. <laughs> so aside from those Kuni-san, yes. um, what else can they do? Do you have service to bring them to the golf course? Because I know Japanese and Koreans, you love the Philippines uh, because of our golf yes, course Yes, we, we have such kind of shuttle services and uh -huh. uh, also such uh -huh. a, uh, that, uh, what's that? Uh, pick up services whatever mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i see now um can you share with them why you have a special uh intensive care unit room there ah, yes okay uh, uh, of course ma, times to come of course as you know the mm -hmm. terminal cares we need Hi. but uh, mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. we are sending to the hospital yes uh -huh. uh, it's a little bit very expensive Hi. Well, and Karimas. also, mm -hmm. that's why, so we are, uh, of course, as you know, it's a depend on that uh, client, such a living, that uh, trust. Mm -hmm. So, if they allow us to taking care of, like, uh, as a home, we have such kind of special care unit. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it's a uh, depend on that uh, client, that uh, request. Mm -hmm. Kunisan, I saw the helicopter. The reason yes. why the helicopter is important, how far is the nearest tertiary hospital from from Millwood subdivision? Oh yeah, but uh, ma, uh, from my places to that uh, one of the nearest hospital, that's mm -hmm. a very nice hospital, mm -hmm. is almost uh, 10 minutes. Okay, Yes. that is the rule. Uh, we crafted in Philippine Retirement Incorporated that a retirement village a retirement home taking care of several people must be within 30 minutes okay because when somebody has a stroke okay yes. uh, we stabilize the patient mm -hmm. uh, by paramedical training and only then can you transport the person yes. but very critical within one hour you must be able to address the hemorrhaging yes. or the cause of the of the stroke right yes. otherwise he might just deteriorate yes, into a coma right, yes. so it's very critical and that's the reason why um i really sincerely hope that this broadcast can maybe give our people who are watching a chance to think about investing into uh, family homes or retirement homes like kuni san has um the how many rooms was that again? 70, 100 uh, seven, rooms? And also that the next one, including uh -huh. that uh, well, uh -huh. still under construction, 200 rooms. Okay. Uh, His is a very evolved facility. He did not start with 70, 270 rooms. In fact, the model that we are espousing in Philippine retirement 
is um, if you have old houses, we can teach you in Philippine Retirement Inc. how to refit it one bedroom, maybe shared bathroom with two caregivers. I was just talking to Kuni-san here and he's very willing to share his success stories on how to run a facility, be it a, a home that has three bedrooms that you want to convert into a bed and board for senior citizens. Um, I think Rose Princess would be very uh, willing to help you manage yeah. uh, across the provinces. Is that right, Goody? Mm, yes. Uh, Am I being too presumptuous here? No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, of course, you already know mm, that uh, mm -hmm. I, I was starting 1996 this uh, business. Okay. And uh -huh. also, uh, okay. we are also keep it such a uh, such a space, but mm -hmm. we have started only four rooms at first. Okay. So he started with four rooms. That I think there are some houses or big ancestral houses in the provinces where our GNN audience is, um, seriously think about that and you can um, uh, call 817-1090 or email us here in the email addresses uh, that are shown in the screen for inquiries and we would be very glad to guide you on how to establish your own assisted living and Rose Princess can be your partner uh, to give you all the tips on how to do it properly because ladies and gentlemen this Philippine retirement industry is a sunshine industry as I mentioned earlier there are about a billion people right now of the 7 billion on the planet earth who are over 50 years old and in Japan Kunisan, um, they moved the retirement age from 60 to 65. Yes. Yeah, because they don't have enough pensions yes. to, to cover these people. Yes. And uh, when we were talking to their mayors, their governors in Japan, or what they call prefectures, they were really in a very serious uh, situation where in the next five years, so many will turn 65 and they will lose their jobs and live on a $1,200 pension. Can you give them an idea, Kunisan? You import 70% of your food into Japan. What kind of living will they have, the retirees, I mean, if they choose to remain in Japan and not move to Philippines to Rose Garden? Compare that to the lifestyles, the quality of life. Yeah, lifestyle itself is uh, not so changed, I think, yes. And also, no need to feel something that cold, like uh, in Japan have a winters. Hi. So, and, uh, but, ma, of course, as you know, the, they are also living in, in that uh, Japan. Mm -hmm. That's why, so, maybe uh, they feel something wrong to transfer to another country, but, Basically, within that uh, facilities, within that uh, such kind of area, mm -hmm. if we can make it such kind of the situations, they won't miss Japan so much. Yeah, because okay. as you know, right now, internet, we have uh, uh, satellite system, mm -hmm, we have mm -hmm, TV mm -hmm, program, mm -hmm. any kind. Talk about yes. your IAMO uh, website. I know it took you several years to evolve your beautiful website. Can you share with our viewers what no, you have done? But another point of view, unfortunately, my, even though American, even though Japanese, they are misunderstanding about the Philippines itself. Hi, I that's know, I told so you. They think uh, the war, the Abu Sayyaf is running around <laughs> Kabuya, <laughs> Makati, yeah, Magallanes. Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. yes, yes, that's uh -huh. why. So uh -huh. uh, I have to show them that the light, such uh, Philippine situations, and if, especially this Ma Manila area. So that's why so I created such kind of the, the one of the largest uh, Japanese website. website. Hi. And also that website <coughs> is showing pictures and map so everything pictures showing realities and mm -hmm. also locations also showing to them location pictures mm -hmm. so we already have more than 1500 pages that uh, website there mm -hmm. but my nah, anyway so okay Kunisan, yeah. uh, you've been here for 23 years okay yes. my theory is do you know how many companies Japanese companies are doing business in the Philippines uh, members of the Japanese Chamber how uh, many members are there would well, you know well, right now a little bit but, uh, not decreasing little bit but uh, before almost 800 
company. Japanese companies. Company, yes. Now, what do you think no, it is? No, uh, maybe five or five hundred, four hundred. That's still a lot, you know. Yes. My 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 uh, solution yes. to this perceived security issue that they are afraid to come here. Okay, I mean. We're nowhere more dangerous than 9-11 in New York, okay? <laughs> yes, I understand. <laughs> I mean, yes. you, know, you know what yes, I mean? Yes. Uh, the Ubu, Abu Sayyaf is not in Kabuyao, oh, yeah. they're in Mindanao, okay? So I think if you can help us, and I will work closely with our foreign affairs embassy in Japan and our own uh, Philippine retirement here with the Japanese chamber, um, if we can get those 500 companies to share and reassure your maybe just about a million of your possible retirees to say hey consider coming to the philippines because it's not as bad as you think it is yes. can you make an appeal to our japanese friends because we'll be putting this on youtube and broadcasting it i mean how do you tell them that it's safe yeah, ma, that is safe. Ma, ma, one of that uh, my my experience. Twenty mm -hmm. twenty three mm -hmm. years I'm mm -hmm. also living here, mm -hmm. but I'm not lost my wallet. I'm not really. Yes. Galing talaga. Thank you, Filipinos, yeah, for yeah. not uh, you know uh, having giving Mr. Bunetome uh, uh, an experience that is regrettable. Yeah, so what else? That's why. So uh -huh. and also I I'm not getting any that uh, such a dangerous situations. Uh -huh. So meaning is. Look at me. You, you've uh, enjoyed your life yes, here. Yes, I'm enjoying uh -huh. life here. Uh -huh. And also, I'm uh -huh. driving myself. Uh -huh. I'm also going to uh, Baguio, uh -huh. going to Batangas uh -huh. myself uh -huh. alone, but uh -huh. without any troubles. Mm -hmm. Even though mm -hmm. I got something that car accident, but of course, we can discuss, we can talk. I see. So uh -huh. And you know, Filipinos love Japanese food. <laughs> yeah. And you know, one of the other businesses that Kuni just started last year, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yes. He took over Furusato, one of the favorite authentic Japanese foods in Magallanes. What made you decide to revive Furusato? Uh, no, no, no. Because as you know, I, I was also operating some Japanese restaurants before. Uh, but, here in uh, the Philippines? Yeah, because as you know, uh, we mm. have started this kind of the business. Hi. Of course, we have mm. to catering such a Japanese food uh, for so your nationals, nationality yes. uh -huh. so that's why so I was operating before but I already quit before but uh, this time accidentally one of my that, uh, former owners asked me to supporting to okay. some business I so yes. that's why uh -huh. so I started support but um, uh, unfortunately uh, he already that uh, fed up back up so that's why so I, I have to take over so no that's the reasons mm -hmm. and also maybe if that uh, so many japanese people coming to that um, our facilities mm -hmm. i can catering that the japanese food for them mm -hmm. well we're coming uh, close to the end of the show and kunisan yes. i'd like to thank you very much for coming over yes i may i ask your permission to invite you again at some future time yes because um Ladies and gentlemen, um, we are in a public-private partnership. The president has appointed uh, the Department of Tourism to take care of the wellness tourism part of it, the Department of Health for the medical tourism part of the partnership, and last but not least, where I serve as the Resource Director of Philippine Retirement Inc., to Philippine Retirement Authority, where General Aglipay, as we speak, is in Europe doing a roadshow with our president, Ban San Choa, uh, who is also with IREMIT, Sterling Bank, and he's also president of the subdivision Homeowners Association, or SHEDA. We're trying to position the Philippines as a serious player when it comes to hosting the one billion people who are over 50 years old. In this part of the world, our, our uh, partners in making their countries their second home are Malaysia, Thailand, and Singapore. Now, but nowhere in the world do we have the second longest beaches around our 7,000 islands. We have a lot of caregivers. We have restaurants. We have food. 
we have coconuts, we have herbs, we have entertainment, we have golf 